All right, as we are beginning to incorporate some writing into our classrooms, hopefully you are providing some um, opportunities to write, whether it's uh, on the attendance quiz where they're reporting what they did the day before or on the social emotional learning lesson where you are giving a check-in or a check-out um, or even an open-ended res open response to an academic question. Remember, we want to start with that exemplar and we want to provide students with the rubric of what we're looking for in a, in a great answer. Uh, Canvas does have rubrics that you can use. It is very helpful for the kids to be able to see um, so that they can sort of mentally check off and make sure that they've done all of the requirements, but it also makes it easy for you to grade. So I'm going to show you how to create a rubric and then I'll make us another video on how to use the rubric in the speed grader. So right here, I'm going to build a rubric and I'm going to build a very simple rubric um, that I can use to check my um, open ended discussion questions for um, my attendance quiz or for a social emotional learning lesson or even for an open ended response. Uh, to a question that you have provided in your content. So I'm going to create my rubric. I already have one created for a summary assignment that I did, but I'm going to create a rubric and it's going to be, um, I'm just going to title it a basic open-ended response um, question. And actually, I'm just gonna, a basic open-ended response. And so how you create a rubric on Canvas is very simple. It looks kind of strange at first, but it, it is it goes pretty fast. So the first criteria, I'm going to click on this little pencil because I'm going to actually name the criterion. Um, and the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my kids some points just for making the effort. So um, <clears throat> student submission especially right now on Canvas when everyone's still getting into the swing of things. And over here, I can give ratings. I can give ratings for a full mark. I can give it for, um, I can change the points. So the rating title, I'm going to say like full marks or I'm going to say advanced. I can change the rating title. I'm going to give them, let's say 50 points for even just submitting it. Because remember, this is just the basic open-ended response that I would use like for my attendance quiz or my social emotional learning question. Um, <clears throat> if you wanted to give like, if you wanted to create, maybe they did, but it's not a complete answer, I can give 25 points for that. Um, I can say an adequate answer or a basic answer. Uh, you can tell I use adequate a lot. Um, and then zero points for um, no submission or inadequate. Well, if my assignment is worth more than 50 points, I probably need to add some criterion because right now this is just them submitting anything. I can add a criterion here and I'm going to just create a new one. And so this one is, did they um, answer the question using um, evidence or support. And so that's the description of it. And so see how it's going to show up right here. And then I can adjust the, the points and even the title of it. Um, I can say this is going to be worth um, let's say 20 points. Um, and I can um, add one that maybe they made an attempt, but it was um, developing. I would say that probably whatever I'm going to use, uh, actually, I'm going to change this back to adequate. Whatever you're using, you probably need to make sure you're using the same titles over here. So I'm going to fix this one. Um, actually, I want to fix this one. Ah, no, that's not what I want. Real time, real time messing up. Um, excellent. So now they're going to match. Excellent is full points. Adequate is mid range. And then inadequate is they didn't do it or it's, it's missing. 
Um, and so now I'm up to 70 points. I can add another criterion like um, uh, they answered the question with uh, in a full sentence. And of course, you would make this fit whatever you're doing. I'm just kind of going to move this along quickly. So full credit, excellent. And then five points there. And this is adequate. And no points would be, oh wait, uh, don't mess that up. I'm gonna add one here, that little plus mark. Um, zero, and that would be inadequate. And so you would keep building, uh-oh, I've done something wrong. Um, you're going to keep building this, um, until you have your 100 points or however many points there you're using. The last step, don't forget to actually create the rubric. Once you do that, when you go out of your rubrics and then come back into it, you can see the rubrics right here. And so when you make an assignment, you can choose to add a rubric and you can even choose one of the ones that you've already created. Um, so you don't have to create a rubric every time. It saves them for you right here in this file folder. All right. Hopefully that um, adding a rubric will make things a little bit easier and then stay tuned for a video on how to use them in the speed grader.